I'm Daniel Meadows, and some people would call me a photographer, but I like to think of myself more as a documentarist, somebody who documents the world about him using lots of different tools, not just photography. When I started out, um, I was a person who was incredibly curious about the world. So in 1970, when I went to art school in Manchester, I'd had a childhood living in, um, in boarding schools, and I knew you know, same-sex boarding schools, I knew boys and I knew boys from one class, and I knew um, men from one class of society. So there I was, 18, and I didn't know anybody. I didn't know any people of colour, I didn't know any women. I was immensely curious about the world. It was 1970, the Vietnam War was on, we'd had the student riots in Paris, and I just wanted to embrace the world. And so when I first started running free studios, the reason I ran them was because I wanted to meet people, I wanted to hear their stories. And, and very quickly I realised that I wasn't a photographer in the conventional sense. I wasn't about trying to flatter people by making nice portraits of them. I didn't, wasn't interested in advertising and fashion and those things. I was just interested in people. And I was interested in the tales they told us as much as the pictures that I was making of them. And I learned very rapidly that what my work was about was about engaging, about engagement. I became a kind of mediator for other people's stories. So when I lived in my bus, you know, I was young and new and I had a few skills I'd learned at college and I was trying to do this democratic way of working um, and by giving people pictures away and by sitting and listening to people's stories. But as I got more skillful and picked up various professional ways of working, I learned skills which I could then um, use uh, and were sitting there, as, as it were, waiting for the digital age. And when the digital age came, by running workshops where you could teach people how to make their own TV, we make the connection between the pictures on the wall in the exhibition, which are portraits from the 1970s done randomly on the street with anybody who was willing to pose for my camera, through to stories, um, two-minute stories made for television by people who uh, were um, now empowered with new tools by attending one of the digital storytelling workshops. My name's Stanley Graham and I'm making this small film for my friend Daniel Meadows on my kitchen table at home. The idea is to prove, hopefully, that even a crumbly can get hold of this technology without any training and turn something out that's worth looking at. Digital stories are a kind of access level but nevertheless elegant um, multimedia form that people can learn quite quickly. They are written in the first person, I, me, mine, and they're scripted. So people write a, a two minute script, usually about 250 words, and they tend to use pictures rather than video, still pictures, photographs. And so you had this fantastic sort of um, lovely gaggle of invisible histories that started to emerge. People telling their own stories. And why do I think this is so important that we do these things? Um, I think it's important because it's about power, ultimately. That, um, we, we live in awe of people who live on the television screen. Um, meanwhile, those of us who are living our lives daily on this planet, um, uh, time slipping by without the things that concern us being the issues that we're talking about. So if you can make your own stuff, make your own media, um, then the power has shifted. And, you know, I look forward to a time where, where everybody can be on the stage sometime.